Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from therighttrader.com here back today with another daily crypto update. I'm going to be going over Bitcoin and cash today. I'm also going to be talking about some of the big movers like Dash, IOTA. Otherwise, I will use my normal schedule of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, NEO, Vertcoin, Monero, Omisigo, Lisk. All of those and a more detailed technical analysis in that order in just a second. Um, if you haven't purchased cryptocurrencies yet, go check out Coinbase. I have a referral link in the description where you can get $10 free when you sign up. Uh, they're not a sponsor, I just use them myself. And other than that, let's get right into what's been going on with the general market and the altcoins. So I should point out that I've been very accurate in my predictions here. You should go ahead and check my video on uh, the big crypto balance before the end of 2017. And that's currently what we're seeing today. So a lot of coins doing you know great today. Um, I think it's just the beginning, you know, a lot of them like Litecoin um, and even Ethereum still have a lot of room to go higher from here. So I do think that it's it's uh, just a start. But let's get into, you know, what's been happening. So, you know, Bitcoin still moving higher here, pushing $8,200. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Ethereum getting closer and closer to $400. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Bitcoin Cash up today. Now, what's funny is I already mentioned this in a previous uh, crypto update, but it's, it's a good sign, you know, when, when Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash can go up together. Unfortunately, though, that's just not sustainable, right? Um, because of miners and stuff like that, one will have to win the battle, right? And of course, Bitcoin is, is kind of um, favorable at this point. But it, it's a really tricky thing because they can't just like do great together, right? In the long run, that's just not possible. So that's just something to think about. But at least for now... There's not too much tension between the two, so that's obviously good, and it, it avoids any you know drama in the market. Uh, Ripple moving higher, Dash, like I said, breaking out today. Um, it actually broke out a couple days ago, and if we take a look, you know, it broke out above this three thousand, uh, sorry, three hundred fifty-eight dollar level, and is now really just taking off, moving much higher, right above five hundred dollars. That'll probably be be a new support level. So a uh, pretty amazing price action here for Dash. They made a couple. Um, you know, changes and updates to their platform, I think, you know, they're trying to compete a bit with Bitcoin Cash, if I'm not mistaken. So people are seeing the value in that and it's really kicking the price up quite a bit. So I'll definitely have to pay attention to this one and keep you guys more updated on what's going on with that dash. But um, it's looking good. Nothing to complain about. IOTA getting closer and closer to $1. You know, that's also something that I called for and right now 97 cents. So in no time, it should be above a dollar, and then you know testing its its all time high basically of a dollar and nine cents, and may and seeing how high it can go after that really. But uh, once it goes above that dollar mark, it should be you know some very strong support after that, and it should really be a bit of a new beginning for IOTA in that um, above a dollar range. Monero getting somewhat of a breakout today, uh, doing pretty good. Lisk uh, pulling back a little bit, not really doing much. I should have mentioned also that Litecoin is acting pretty similarly as well other than that you know just a lot of coins doing really well today um, up about five percent ten x is um, another one that's really kind of breaking out today up seventeen percent getting closer to two dollars let's just go ahead and take really a uh, quick a quick look at what's been going on here for ten x so it's getting a little bit of a, a kick here we'll have to pay attention to see you know can this break above some of the the resistance levels that it put in around the $2 mark and stuff, but um, definitely something to pay attention to is it could come back to the, the $3 mark pretty quickly if it breaks above $2, it looks like. So um, something to pay attention to. We can see the volume kicking up as well, so that's obviously going to be a good sign. Power Ledger um, looks like it's moving even a bit higher today. Vertcoin pulling back a little bit, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to th go through everything, but, um, you know, some coins are doing better than others. Overall here, a really good day for the market. Zcoin up. Uh, over 10%. Storage is another uh, crypto that's doing pretty decent today. Now let's get right into the technical analysis here, starting off with Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is uh, still in its range bound formation here. Uh, I kind of expect that to continue. The MACD is still moving downwards. Same thing with the histogram. RSI not really doing much right now. So it looks like um, we are holding a nice range over here, but um, let me go ahead and just put that in so you all can get a better idea of what's going on. It's holding this range right over here of around, you know, what's this, um, 1,192 about. So it's holding in this higher range in between this $1,400 $1, area and the $900 area. 
But um, yeah, it probably will still be a bit range bound here for a while. Let's move over to our normal schedule here, starting off with uh, Bitcoin. And like I said, I really like the movement that Bitcoin is having. So put in a little bit of a flat candlestick right now. That's fine. You know, we, we're still moving higher. Uh, still got a pretty sharp uptrend actually in the making right now. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. And that's definitely going to be something to see if we can hold. So it's a bit tricky to draw depending on how strict you want to be with, with drawing this uptrend. Uh, I guess this is pretty fair. So it's really kind of testing that today. We'll see if it's able to hold. It is pretty sharp though. So that's something to pay attention to. A uh, little bit of tapering off on the histogram. MACD, we may start to see that. Wasn't able to break above the 70 mark as far as the RSI goes. But, you know, at, at this point, we're still making um, progress and moving higher. You know, we were able to break above 8,000. Now we're in this $8,200 area. So I'm not really concerned. I think it's going to just slowly but surely climb towards 8,500, even if that means, you know, pulling back a little bit um, in the short term. We will have the middle band, hopefully, that'll come pretty quickly upwards and help support the price uh, moving towards 8,500, I think is what we're going to see in the um, next two weeks, probably. Let's see what's been going on with Ethereum. Um, I definitely like how Ethereum has been acting kind of as expected. And what we can see over here is, sorry, I chose the wrong exchange. Let me move over to Coinbase. So we're still moving higher. Um, now, Today, we're, we're really flattening out a bit as well. It's getting very close to that um, double top that we put in just two days ago of 3000 sorry, $374. So we'll see if we can get a break above that. Right now, it's pretty overextended. We're kind of testing that 70 mark um, in the previous downtrend line. So we'll see if we can really get above that. Still looking okay on the MACD and the histogram for now. So we could pull back here in the short term, I think, towards this uptrend line right over here which is the you know pretty short-term, uh, relatively sharp uptrend line. This is the pink line right over here. Uh, kind of expect a pullback to there maybe, just to get some support before um, you know really being able to break above that $374 mark, at which point you know we should pretty quickly get up to $400. But it's still acting strong, uh, still acting as expected. So overall, you know, nothing to worry about. Uh, moving over to Litecoin now. Litecoin also getting a little bit of a flat candlestick here. Um, now, pretty pretty similar, I guess, to Ethereum in a way where, let me go ahead and draw this short-term uptrend line that I hadn't actually drawn yet. So let's see, we'll make this relatively tight, actually a little bit less. Um, around this mark right over here is, is pretty fair. So, uh, you know, with the flat candlestick that we're seeing and also a little bit of a double top in the past two days, it'll probably, you know, come back and test this uptrend line and, and then we'll kick back off that to break above the $75 mark for uh, Litecoin, which is really the level that we want to see it break above before, you know, getting a pretty big boost up to that around 80, uh, low $80 range, at which point we'll not be far away from, you know, getting the final breakout towards the all-time highs, right? And um, Mac RSA, um, still trying to get above this $67 uh, mark, sorry, 67 mark on the RSI, which, you know, there's a bit of resistance there, so it's uh, struggling a little bit. And uh, MACD still looking okay, but based on the candlestick and, you know, the, the RSI kind of like Ethereum, a little pullback in the short term back to the, the uptrend line before um, a continuation to the move higher, I think, is um, the most likely scenario at this point. Uh, let's move over to, over to Ripple. Now, Ripple, let's see. Um, Ripple, it looks like we're moving higher once again today, and actually... Um, this is pretty significant, but it looks like we moved above the um, uptrend line, sorry, the downtrend line, and this is this is looking really good, actually. So we finally managed to get through this uptrend line. Let me go ahead and put in the short term, uh, sorry, I keep saying uptrend line. We managed to break above the downtrend line, right, which has been um, a real problem for a while, and that's a very good sign. That clears up a lot of resistance now. I just went ahead and drew the short-term, uh, very sharp uptrend line. We'll see if that'll be able to hold. For now, though, you know, a little bit of a short candlestick in the making. Uh, we'll see how much strength it'll have now that we got this breakout. Will it be able to, you know, go ahead and break above this 25 cent mark? We'll just have to wait and see. But overall, now that we're out of that downtrend, even if we do pull back and, you know, test it again, 
once, um, that's fine, right? We, we just wanted to get out of that messy range over here, and, and that's what happened. So we did manage to break above this 60 mark uh, on the RSI. That's another good sign. MACD really taking off. Uh, History M as well. So Ripple finally uh, looking up now, and just going to be a matter of time till you know it climbs back towards hopefully uh, maybe the high 20 cent mark, and I'll of course update you all along the way um, as that happens. Neo, it looks like it took a little bit of a hit here. So um, it's been dropping, you know, pulling back after its very sharp breakout. Now, right now, it's, it seems pretty clear to me that we put in a little bit of a top over here, and it really just needs to pull back, right? And that's what it's doing. So I think it'll probably want to come back and test this $32 mark. Um, that would correspond to this black support level right over here. And that would just, you know, Re, re, be a retest of the breakout level, which is very you know common for this type of move, and it really helps keep the price action healthy, allowing the price to then move back up. Right, that'll kind of be in sync with the middle band as well. That's currently at 30 cents, so that's another good sign. You know, we can just see a, based on the the Bollinger bands how we're really at the higher range of that, and we have a lot of room to go down. I don't think it'll go that low, of course. Like I said. Probably just a $32 mark and a uh, bounce off that. But uh, we can see the MACD here starting to round up, um, move lower. Same thing on the histogram and um, RSI, you know. Let's see, There's a. let me just draw the uptrend line that we had. Still holding above that. We could get a bounce off that probably. And um, yeah, but for now, not really telling us much. Um, just kind of expect the bounce off the $32 mark and definitely getting a, a pullback here. As uh, I guess, you know, buyers thought the price was just too... Uh, drastic um, of a move and you know it's it's normal you have to get these pullbacks otherwise it's just not sustainable right um, Vertcoin here moving up slightly we can see that uh, the MACD is still moving lower so no real bounce or anything um, or flattening even uh, just yet that's what we want to see before we can hope for a bit of um, a move higher Bouncing off this um, 52 mark on the RSI, that's obviously been a support level. It's good to see it bounce off that. Now, the Bollinger Bands are getting pretty contracted. That's obviously going to keep the price, price tighter. It's actually funny because it's right in line right now with my um, res resistance level at $44.85, right? This corresponds to the pink line right over here. And, of course, the uh, red support line, which is at $3.36. So... Right now, that's the range we're kind of in. It might get even a bit tighter towards the middle, like I said, as the Bollinger Bands contract. We can see the middle band currently at $4.07. We're currently trading above that, but it is you know, flattening out. So that also corresponds to more consolidation. Um, I would say the thing to look for as far as you know, a move back higher will, for one, be you know, the Bollinger Bands expanding again, which for now, you know, it's, it's not looking likely. And the MACD, uh, sorry, the middle band kicking back up, as well as really the MACD starting to flatten out and uh, and round up, right? You also have to realize that often when the MACD is like this and moving uh, low for quite a while, it usually fails the first test of the orange line. So it'll probably take, you know, um, a second round um, to really be able to get a, a proper move, which will hopefully be, you know, above that $4.85 um, dollar mark, which will put us in the upper range over here, right? Let's see what's been going on with Monero. It looks like it was breaking out a little bit. So, yeah, we're actually getting a breakout above this $137 area. That's the final resistance level. Let me zoom out a bit until, um, you know, basically the all-time high. So we should really see the price starting to ramp up here more and more. It, it already has been doing really well, you know, uh, slowly but surely made its way um, pretty quickly to much higher levels. You know, it was very range-bound not long ago, trading in the $90 mark, and we're already much higher now. MACD still looking strong, you know, still moving upwards. We've got a little bit of a, a bounce here on the histogram as well. Moved above the 70 line, which is really good to see. We'll have to be a bit careful at this um, resistance level right over here. at 75 mark on the RSI. See if we can break above that. We're getting pretty close to it. But overall here, now that we broke with a full body candlestick above that $137 um, area, we should see it hold above that and uh, and really hopefully getting a move higher um, slowly but surely towards that all-time high, right? We still uh, have a bit of room to, until we get to that middle, uh, sorry, upper Bollinger Band. That's always good, right? It puts a lot of pressure on the price if it's trading above that. 
So right now I, I like how it's moving, even if we come back and you know retest this $137 mark or the pink uptrend line. Uh, as we move higher, that's completely fine and uh, even could be expected at this point. But uh, Monero, definitely one of the stronger altcoins here in the past um, yeah, a week or two, I would say. Moving over to Omisigo now, we can see that we're still trading in between our two trend lines. So the previous trend li uptrend line, which is uh, acting as resistance, of course, and the current uptrend, which is being uh, the support level. Now, we can still expect it to kind of trade between those two things. Hopefully, we can really break above the, um, this resistance level over here. We are moving back up as far as the middle go band goes. You know, the brown line currently sitting at $7.20, I believe. So that's good. We want to see that continuing to move back up and really round up here as far as the Bollinger Band goes. You know, we, we saw downturning. Now we flattened out, and it's moving back up pretty quickly. That's good to see. Um, still not able to break out of this... Um, that we're not able to break above the uptrend line over here, the pr previous uptrend line. So we'll want to see that on the RSI. Um, we are moving up on the, you know, MACD though. It's just going to be a matter of getting um, a bit of a boost here, I think, for Omisigo. We want to see a move that really breaks us above this uh, previous uptrend line so we can really start getting some more powerful price action moving us towards that $9.83 mark and ultimately, you know, ending above that and trading in between that, this uh, upper range over here. So that's kind of what we want to see for Omisigo. And finally, Lisk. Now, Lisk, it looks like pulling back a little bit. We have officially uh, broken out of the sharp uptrend um, line over here. So that's going to, you know, kind of serve as a resistance when we start moving back up. Otherwise, let me go ahead and draw the new current uptrend line, which it's still holding above right now. Um, putting in a little bit of a top over here. We'll have to see how that plays out. Of course, we didn't really get a proper retest of this $8.65 mark. So that could always come back and test that just to put in some healthy price action. Uh, we're moving back down on the histogram tapering off on the RSI. Looks like we may see the same thing on the MACD. So wouldn't be surprised to see some consolidation or pull back here before moving back towards that $10 mark. Um, you know, yeah, that, that seems kind of likely right now. Who knows, maybe it can move above $10 and hold above that though. But um, right now it is looking like it wants to drop a bit more and maybe come back and test that $8.65 mark. Other than that, everyone, this completes the daily crypto update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really thank you for watching this video. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching.